So obviously, like, for anyone that follows me and anyone that doesn't, um, I, I, like, I started my first company almost directly out of college. I took a dead-end job, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. Eventually, I quit that job, jump, burn through my savings, like, all these bad things happen, you know, and I was struggling for a long time. Um, and then I pivoted, and I tried something new, and that company failed, too. And now I'm here, and, like, there is a lot of success, and our company's grown quickly. There's still a lot of growing pain, still a lot of pain. I'd say what got me through all that, honestly, was the pain and not wanting to go back and do something that I didn't want to do, not going back and, and working with someone that I didn't want to work with or doing work that I wasn't passionate about. If I was going to be in pain, I was going to do it doing something that I actually loved. So just reminding myself of that pain. I think a lot of people are afraid of pain or, or failure and they look at those things as negative, but it's, it's, it's a good fuel so long as you use it in the, in the short term and not, not long term. So I would say marketing specifically, I'm not actually passionate about. Storytelling, like I'm, I'm a musician. I've always been a musician. Um, and the way that I look at personal branding, the way that I look at marketing, it's kind of from that standpoint. Like it's, it's people, you know? Like this is how I can connect to people. This is how I can communicate that idea. You can tell a good story, you can do anything. And I would say that's why I'm passionate about it because there's so many good stories out there. And if you tell that good story, you're gonna attract all those stories as well. You're gonna be able to attract that success. And, I think it's just crucial for entrepreneurs to, to dive more into storytelling and for people just to dive more into storytelling. But marketing, I think it's just a, it's a term that people throw out. You know? For me, social media and just technology in general is an extension of ourselves. I would say a lot of people are like, hey, I've got to be happy or hey, I've got to talk about X or Y or Z. And I would say, really, it should be an extension of you. Use it how you would use, like use it how you are like offline, you know, same thing. It's just an extension of who you are. Um, so that's a question you have to ask yourself. It's not something that I can answer for, for young professionals or for anyone really. So one of my favorite quotes is, it's good to be better, but it's better to be different. If you look at Starbucks, they weren't the first coffee shop. They weren't, they didn't have the best coffee. They offered a unique experience. So if you can be different, I would say that's so much better. Like you still have to good, have a good product. You still have to be very talented, but if you're different, you're gonna be more successful than somebody that's just talented. So one thing that I, I hope people take away from my keynote at Young Guns. Um, honestly, is there's a lot of just noise when it comes to personal branding. There's a lot of noise when it comes to marketing and storytelling. And I think a lot of it is, I wanna swear here, but I'm not going to. A lot of it is just, it's, it's pointing people in the wrong direction, you know? And I want people to just look back inward and like, hey, like, who am I? What do I wanna achieve? What are my goals? This is how I can do that. This is what worked for him. This is what worked for the people around him. This is how I can do that. So really just turning that, that um, looking inward rather than looking outward at what other people are doing. But hopefully they take away like some tactics, some strategies that have worked for me. So I'd say one of the, the main reasons why my message has resonated with some people out there is because I know who I am. And I think if you look at a lot of the successful entrepreneurs when it comes to personal branding, like they know who they are. And I think, again, that's a step that a lot of us skip. If we know who we are and then we're able to communicate that to the world, whatever medium that is, whether that's music or podcast or video or articles, whatever that is, I think that's where you're gonna find that success. So honestly, I'm just being myself, I'm being vulnerable, I'm opening up and I'm bringing value. You do that, you're gonna crush it.